boxes, lots of place to and off. Mar Seven market in of play. Billy's handicap, which saw CR to dwell and play catch up. Sweet pursuit leads Port Noir, Gilt Edge, and Shadow Angel on the inside. Going into the first turn, Sweet Pursuit will round it just in front. Gilt Edge on the outside, a close second. Shadow Angel very keen on the inside of Port Noir. Arthur's victory more amenable to restraint. Seata has relegated Gibbon the slip, who races three wide to be the back marker of a tightly grouped field. Port Noir, another one who's straining the reins. Sweet Pursuit leads them off the home turn, half a mile to cover. Gilt Edge a close second, and then Shadow Angel on the rail from Port Noir. Seata is on the inside of Arthur's victory, given the slip on the outside, entering the last three furlongs. Sweet Pursuit, Gilt Edge, the white-faced Shadow Angel, Port Noir in the clear on the outside, followed by Arthur's victory pushed along Seata. Need some luck in running with Gibbon the Slip making an effort down the outside. Inside the two, Sweet Pursuit has quickened from the front, leads Gilt Edge by a length down to the final furlong. Port Noir in third, Shadow Angel has dropped away. Seat has switched to challenge out wide and is finishing well. Sweet Pursuit headed by Gilt Edge inside the last. Seat sweeping through on the outside, gets up near the finish. A hat trick. Market in play. Again, the red and white colours on the outside, Shanna Cool with in the centre, Brinnell the Dara man in the green and yellow stripes on the inside that's the leading trio as they go down to the first of eight flights Mary Cruz the grey on their heels about to go to towards the inside apple crumble towards the outer so they stream out over their first flight and head to the bottom turn Brinnell has edged ahead Mary Cruz has improved up on the outside they share the lead as they make the turn the Dara man and Shanna Cool close in behind and Mary Cruz takes over now as they head for the back straight Mary Cruz going on by length and a half to Brinnell. Shanna Cool the outside, just third, with the Darren man about to gout his next on the inside of Apple Crumble. And they're followed by Isa Winken as they approach flight number two. On the outside of Isa Winken is Muta Dawell. Mary Cruz jumped out to the left but leads by more than three lengths as they head down up to the stands, heading for flight number three. Mary Cruz. Stretching on again, five, maybe six in front of the Dara Man and Brinnell for the break to Shanna Cool, about to go out the inside. Apple Crumble and Isa Wink in a further break to Muta Dowell. Another gap then to I'm No Stranger as Marty Cruz jumps flight number three with an eight length lead. Field well strung out as they head for the far turn. Marty Cruz clear, Brinnell second, the Dara Man third, break of over four lengths to about to go out on the inside of Shanna Cool behind them. Is Apple Crumble, then Isa Winken, Muta Dawell, a further break then to the Hallmeister in front of the final group, also back there, Peace Party. Towards the inside is I'm No Stranger with Blue Stack Mountain and bringing up the rear as they jump the fourth flight, Chief Seattle. Turning into the straight, heading up to the halfway stage, Mary Cruz enjoying a clear lead, Brinnell remains back in second, tracked by the Dara Man, Shanna Cool is on the outside, on the inner, about to go out, behind them Apple Crumble, as they come to pass the winning post, Mary Cruz with a clear lead under Dylan Brown, Brinnell back in second, Damon Corbett, the Dara Man, Shane Fitzgerald is third, closely followed by Shanna Cool, Philip Enright on the outside, about to go out, between horses for Sean Flanagan, a few lengths then to Apple Crumble and Sean O'Keefe. As they head away from that fifth flight, a long run before they reach the first of the two on the far side, which will be three from home. Ari Cruz, a long way clear. Brinnell, pressed for the second by the Dara Man on the inside, about to go out, improving on the outer. And then two and a half to Shanna Cool, Apple Crumble next. Muta Dowell, Peace Party has made a bit of a headway, a break ten to the Hallmeister. Behind that Hall Meister is Isa Winken, a break then to Blue Stack Mountain. As they near the third last flight, Mary Cruz remains clear. Jumps it with the lead of best part of 15 lengths. From in second, the Dara Man, Brinnell is third. Making headway the outside apple crumble. Improving again on the inner is about to go out behind him. Shanna Cool, Peace Party, Muta Dowell, a break to the Hall Meister. Nearing the second last, Mary Cruz's lead has been whittled away to six or seven lengths. The Dara Man trying to close in second. 
followed over this flight by Apple Crumble on the outside of about a gout and they've gone on from Peace Party with Shanna Coolen on their outside trying to stay on as Mutadawa. Less than three furlongs to race as they head to the far turn and the approach to the final flight. Mary Cruz with Apple Crumble gone up on the outside to take over. As they head for the top turn, Mary or going on is Apple Crumble. The Darman second, Marty Cruz under pressure and weakening, and then about to go out and move to Dowell. But as they approach the final flight, Apple Crumble leads the Darman challenging on the inside. Away from it, the Darman has come through on the inner to take over from. In second, Apple Crumble, and they're clear of about to go out and Marty Cruz, less than a furlong to race now. And the Darman is out in front, clear by five or six from Apple Crumble. A further break to about to go out, but with 50 yards to race, the Darman will be another winner for John Ryan. A good start as they go through the first furlong. Trusty Rusty on the inside, also Precious Plum is well there. Swell Song broke well, but has now been passed by Refuge, who's showing plenty of dash from a wide draw in that uh, blue visor and has hit the front going into the first corner from Trusty Rusty, Precious Plum. Swell Song ridden along, then Arzak, the red sleeves. Further back then to the next in the field, that's Rabe, who's racing in the black and uh, red as they make the swing left-handed towards home. Further back on the inside is Uptoon Girl, the black and yellow with the matching headgear. Island Memory with running to do, and also well off the pace at this stage is Lancashire Life as they swing into the straight and they head now to the final furlong and a half. And it's Refuge in the blue headgear who leads from on the right, Trusty Rusty. They're being followed closely by Precious Plum. Arzak putting in a run, the white cheek piece is near side, also staying on Rabe from the back of the field with Lancashire Life. But it's Refuge with a narrow advantage as they race well inside the final furlong. Trusty Rusty striving to get on terms and beginning to get there as they go towards the line, Trusty Rusty. There's Ma market in play. A mile and a quarter for the Vickers dot bet, build your own bet handicap, which sees Mountain Ash lead them through the first furlong. Hesperis close up in second on the outside of Sawlier Star. Dancing Master in touch in fourth, and a couple of lengths back to Beowulf, slowest to find his stride. They've covered the first quarter of a mile with. Mountain Ash on the inside of Hesperus, the front pair. Dancing Master racing keenly into third place on the outside of Sawlier Star. Held up last remains Beowulf, and they're inside the last seven furlongs. Hesperus in front as they exit the back under four timer seeking Machine Murphy with a keen going Dancing Master around the outside of Mountain Ash. Up into second now, Dancing Master. Sawlier Star tracks them in fourth. And a couple of lengths off the back of them remains Beowulf and Holly Doyle. They've gone through halfway, making the approach to the home straight. Hesperis now on the inside running rail, leads Dancing Master in with Mountain Ash railing in third in front of Sawlier Star. Beowulf still waiting with as they approach the last three furlongs. Hesperus's advantage over Dancing Master is about three quarters of a length. Mountain Ash moving back through on the inside to re-challenge for second. And then Sawlier Star and Beowulf. Sawlier Star being ridden. Beowulf still traveling with some purpose. Entering the final quarter of a mile. Hesperus, who's drifted off the inside running rail with Beowulf now going second. Mountain Ash back in third on the inside. Dancing Master at the one pace in fourth. And Beowulf has quickened to the front, passing the furlong. In play. Keen Kyle, the green and yellow colors, the early leader. Three sixteen close up. Comporta towards the outside is Match My Fire. Wider still, Shantu Warrior, as they go to jump their first flight. And away from it and heading for the bottom turn, Keen Kyle in the lead with Comporta close up towards the inside with the orange cap. As they head away towards the back straight, Keen Kyle from Comporta through on the inside in the red and blue colours, Moonball disputes the third spot with 316, a break of about two and a half lengths to Shantu Warrior in Summer Hill. Behind them, Max Timna towards the inside, then Daha de Kuig with Fair Minded. With them is Match My Fire as they straighten up. And approach flight number two, Keen Kyle in the lead with Comporta close second on the inside. Comporta landed with a narrow lead as they head directly up to the stands, heading for flight number three, Comporta. The new leader from Keen Kyle. Moonball remains close up in third, a break of about three lengths then to Sweet 16, followed by Summerhill, Shantu Warrior the outside. 
Mach Sibna towards the inner in the black and green, and then Fair Minded and Daha de Kuig. Match My Fire is behind them as they jump this flight with Made in Pimlico towards the outer. Good run before they reach the flight before they turn in. Come Porta lead. Moonball has gone second. Keen Kyle keeping to the outside third. A break of five or six lengths. To Sweet 16, followed by Summer Hill, Shantou Warrior. Behind them towards the inner Mach Sibna and then Fair Minded with Daha de Kuig. Alongside Daha de Kuig. Match My Fire as they make the turn to bring them onto the fort, made in Pimlico to their outer. Young Ned of the Hill is behind them as they clear the flight, that'll be the last one next time they meet it. And make the swing that'll bring them up in front of the stands, come Porter, going along out in front for Jody McGarvey, followed in second by Moonball in the red and blue, James O'Sullivan, near side Keen Kyle in the green and yellow for Owen Walsh. Followed in the white and blue, Sweet 16, Philip Enright, and the outside of that one, Summerhill and Philip Donovan, a break of a few lengths then. To Shantou Warrior and Sean Flanagan, fair minded Mark Walsh, the inside, as they clear flight number five and head towards the bottom turn. Still in front, Comporta, followed in second by Moonball, and they've gone on a few lengths in front of Keen Kyle in third spot, Sweet 16 in Summerhill, and then Fairminded in Chantu Warrior, Daha de Kuig and Mox Sibna. Behind them, Young Ned of the Hill, and then Made in Pimlico with them. In the red and blue is Union Park, as they make the turn into the back straight. Comporta with a reduced advantage, a little more than a length in front now of Keen Kyle improving up on the outside, on the inside moonshot, and they're followed by Summer Hill, Shantou Warrior the outer, Sweet 16, and then Fair Minded, slight mistake there, Summer Hill. As they head down the far side, they have less than five furlongs to race and two flights to jump and come port out in front. Leading the chase towards the inside moon ball with Keen Kyle, Shantou Warrior has made headway up on the outside, Summer Hill getting back into it. Young Ned of the Hill makes some headway behind them with Fair Minded. Union Park is making good ground too to chase the leaders and then Sweet 16. Leaders punching up as they head for the three furlong pole with a good run to the final flight. Key and Kyle lead. Shantou Warrior goes second. Summer Hill into third. Around the outside making good headway is Union Park as they head for the top turn. With over two furlongs to race, Key and Kyle, Shantou Warrior and Union Park go on. A break to Summer Hill, Young Ned of the Hill trying to stay on on the outside and then Sweet 16 as they near the final flight. Chantu Warrior tackled on the outside by Union Park at the inner Key and Kyle still there as they swing in. Key and Kyle on the rail, Union Park now taking over off the bend. Union Park goes on from Key and Kyle, Chantu Warrior. Young Ned of the Hill is back and forth but inside the final furlong Union Park. And the last one moves in, that's Samara Star, the newcomer. All in. And off, and they race market and in play for the free tips daily on at the races.com novice median auction stakes heading out of the back first time and newcomer samara star is the early leader closely attended by bashful bashful and samara star exit the back straight together with the bascule in third in the green and red and then a length to flamingo rose who's in the purple and white diablo as they start the swing in first time round two length break then to the hoop sleeves of fort nelson Alongside Fort Nelson, the green and yellow of Gerrier and Hanafi in the first time cheek pieces, the back marker. The best part of eight lengths behind the pace setting Bashful has now gone on in the David Probert and heads the field up towards the stands first time round. Samara Star tracks closely for Pat Cosgrave in second, Bascool in against the rail for William Buick in third. Three parts of a length then to the bumper winner Flamingo Rose and William Carson in fourth. With a length of Fort Nelson and Tyler Saunders, and then a three parts to Gerrier and Callum Shepherd, and a couple of lengths to Hanafi and Danny Muscat. Passing the stands, racing now past the seven furlong start, and it's bashful, looking to go one better after three successive seconds. And we'll take the field out towards the far side of the track. Samara so Star is in second spot with a, a very close third, Bascool in company with Flamingo Rose. Little to choose between that pair sharing third and fourth spots and then comes Fort Nelson as they race past the six furlong from home point. Jerry A last but one and still at the back of the field is Hanafi and still about seven or eight lengths behind the leaders as they continue over on the far side. There's not been too much change in the order with Bashful and Samara Star still one and two as they head now towards the last half mile. Bascule is there on the inside rail narrowly ahead of the grey filly Flamingo Rose, a two length break to Gerrier, who's just gone past Fort Nelson, who's ridden along. No move yet from Hanafi as they head now towards the last three and a half. 
and swing left-handed out of the back straight. Bashful from Samara Rose, only half a length in it. Just a length and a half to Flamingo Rose and Bascule together. Then two lengths to Girier, firmly off the bridle, back in fifth. And they're starting to quicken as they make the run towards the home turn and head now inside the last couple of furlongs. Samara Star, the newcomer, travelling strongly upsides Bashful, who's being pushed along by David Pro. But it's Samara Star will kick off the final bend, leading Bashful in. In back in third place is Flamingo Rose. Bascule hasn't picked up back in fourth. Samara Star with the lead as they approach the final furlong, going two or three lengths clear of Bashful, who's joined for second by Flamingo Rose who is staying on well and then a big break back to Bascool who's beaten but well inside the last it's Samara Star three lengths clear for Flamingo Rose Hot Alina under the stands rails will lead them through the first furlong with Angela and Mummy Bear giving chase Silent Flame Asad Jumeirah and finally Temple Brewer as they run towards the end of the first quarter of a mile Hot Alina under Gina Mangan pursued by Angela and Tor Hammer Hansen Silent Flame is a close third, then follows Mummy Bear on the outside of Asad Jumeirah, and Temple Brewer continues to bring up the rear, and he's outpaced. They're inside the final three furlongs. Hot Alina with Silent Flame being produced on the outside to hold every chance, passing the two. Angela is ridden between runners. Asad Jumeirah switching to the far side. Temple Brewer still in rear. Silent Flame has control, entering the final furlong under Asheen Murphy, gone too clear from Angela. Temple Bear, despite changing his legs, is running on well as they race inside the final 50 yards. Silent Flame all out, but holds on. Hey. In the centre, went alongside Asserted. Up the outside, Little Yank, and widest of all is Morris Harper. The leading five as they head to their first flight, the first of eight. Staging post is next. As they clear the first, where King Lennox is a bit awkward, also a mistake at the back by Hot Beat. As they head for the bottom turn, Persia has taken over and goes on from King Lennox on the inside, up on the outside, Asserted. Wider again is Mars Harper in between horses as they head for the back straight to Little Yank, break of a few lengths then to staging post as they turn and head on to flight number two, the first of the two on the far side, Persia with King Lennox gone up again on the outside, they show in front, a mistake incurred by Mars Harper, inserted the inside, Little Yank on the outside of that pair, break of a few lengths then to staging post, good time Johnny and bring up the rear is Hot Beat. Directly off to the stands, going to flight number three. King Lennox has established a lead of almost two lengths under Luke Dempsey, Persia, joined for the second by Mars Harper. Started the inside, the little yank close behind them, and then a gap of a few lengths to staging post. Good time, Johnny last but one, bringing up the rear in blue and yellow is Hot Beat. As they head for the top turn, King Lennox, Luke Dempsey in the lead from Persia, Mark Walsh in second. Mars Harper, Jack Kennedy showing in third. Towards the outside is the Little Yank, Brian Cooper, and then asserted Jane Fitzgerald. Head of staging post, Philip Enright. The outside of Good Time Johnny Peter Carberry at the back, Hot Beat and Chain O'Callaghan as they jump to fourth the night before the turn in. King Lennox from Persia towards the inside, Wade Harper. Not far behind him towards the outer is the Little Yank, just ahead of asserted, past the furlong pole. Coming up to pass the stands, King Lennox in the blue and white, the white trap of Persia, the little yank just third stand side on the inner is Mars Harper, the maroon and white of Asserted is fifth in staging post, good time John the outside, hot beat, last of the eight runners, but only seven or eight lengths off the lead, and that lead held over by King Lennox made a slight mistake, Persia jumped on again as they head into the bottom turn, Persia. Going on from Mars Harper, King Lennox the inside, the little yank is with them, staging post close behind with asserted the inner. Good time Johnny the outside in the green and red, and at the back is Hot Beat. Six legs covering the field as they make the turn that will bring them into the back straight. They have three flights to jump. Persia leads by a little over a length. The little yank up on the outside. Mars Harper disputes the second spot. Staging post improves into fourth as they jump. The first of the two flights in the back straight, that was the third last, Persia, from the Little Yank and Mars Harper, a break of about four lengths to staging post, a further gap down of three, to asserted good time Johnny Hotbeat and King Lennox has dropped back to be 
at the back of the field as they near the second last five, Persia, chased by the little Yankee in second, in third is Mars Harper, the fourth and driven along trying to close staging post and then a clear break. Heading on to the three furlong point with just the one flight to jump, Persia leads, chased less than a length and a half back by the little Yank, a break of almost five then to Mars Harper, staging post clear of good time Johnny as they make the top turn. Persia with the little Yank driven up on the outside to challenge and they fight it out clear of Mars Harper in staging post. As they come to jump the final flight, the little Yank on the outside of Persia. They have it between them clear of staging post and Mars, Mars Harper as they straighten up at the furlong pole. Near side the little Yank on the rail is Persia, they're clear. Well inside the final furlong. Near side the little Yank, Persia on the inner. Left and a link between them at 50 hours to race. The little Yank on the stand side of Persia as they go to the line. The little Yank will win it for Brian Cooper, double up for Market Brian. suspended. Second Mars to go was Purple Paddy for this follow at the races on Twitter. Amateur jockeys handicap. Good break by the returning to action Elementrix in the yellow with the red sleeves. Quite keen on the inside is Mac McCarthy, nose banded, and Pugsy now moves through to take over in the green and white as they swing away towards the far side. So a battle for the early lead, Elementrix and Hugsy against the fence. Then uh, dropping in in third place is Mac McCarthy, followed further back by Merriam's Way on the inside of the grey Celtic force. Uh, wide the white and blue of Alketios, and then further back to the white and dark blue of Hugo's there. Mid-division is ghostly at this stage in the predominantly red colours, followed by the red and yellow of He's Our Star. Another couple of lengths back to the next in the field, that's Paula Victoire. BPC towards the back, Irish Eileen's only got one behind, Irish Eileen in the orange and white sleeves, and that's a slow starting purple paddy, but the leaders have gone off hard here, Elementrix and Hugsy. There's a length between them as they go well down the back. They're six lengths clear from Mac McCarthy, Alketios and Celtic Force. Completing that group then is Hugo's there and Merriam's way on the inside. Then two lengths to Ghostly, who's some way off the pace at this stage, along with the Irish Eileen and the BPC. He's our star's only got a couple behind, Purple Paddy and Paula Victoire. It is Elementrix who will lead as they make the turn towards home, three or four lengths clear. From in second spot, Hugsy, and then Mac McCarthy back in third. Another length then to the next, that's Celtic Force. These are followed by Ghostly, who's starting to make some ground towards the outside, but still got about half a dozen lengths to find on this leader. Elementrix now being driven along. Hugsy coming back for more. Ghostly's now making significant headway towards them and reeling in these leaders quite quickly, approaching the final furlong, and Ghostly's taken over. Elementrix drops back on the inside of Hugsby. Irish Eileen finishes well, and also finishing off strongly is Hugo's there, heading up towards the line. Now it's ghostly in front, two or three lengths. And they're off. Market so in play. The break somewhat from one off the rail. Hurricane alert against the stands rail is the first to show with Wildflower and Morty. Both front rank at the end of the first furlong. Glamorous Force is chasing the leading trio in front of Red Stripes on the outside of Red Walls. And Far playing catch up is the back marker. Through the Three furlong pole, led by Morty from Wildflower. Hurricane Alert on the back foot, dropping away from the front pair. Glamorous Force, Fard has been hard ridden with two furlongs to go. Trying to make ground in front of Red Stripes. Red Walls has dropped to the rear. Morty under the stands rail will lead Glamorous Force down to the final furlong. Glamorous Force moving upsides. Morty back in third is Wildflower. Fard is running on, but Glamorous Force has taken control, running up towards the line. Glamorous Force wins the finale. From Market in play. The Wild Sports Handicap Pearl vying for the early lead. Space Oddity, Metal Man and moving up now on the easy and the outside is So Easy Way as they go to jump. The first flight, So Easy Way. Took over in leads by over three lengths. Metal Man in second. Space Oddity the inside. Towards the outer is Rocky's Howie. They head for the top turn and they're followed at this stage by Rain in Spain, La Hachette, Emer. Close behind them in the green and red is Doran's River. A break then back to De Dallin towards the inside of Oscar Romero. As they make the top turn behind them is Pump Road. On Storm, rewrite the rules at the back as they clear the second. Make the turn into the straight. So easy way, the yellow and black on the inside, Gavin Broder leads them up the straight. Followed now in second position by Le Hachette, Luke Dempsey, upsides and fractionally in front. Metal Man Jack Kennedy is third, Rocky's Howie of four with Shane Fitzgerald, and they're followed by on the inside space, Oddity, Turlock O'Connor, the middle 
It's Emer, Brian Cooper, Rain in Spain, the outside in red and black for Paul Townend, and they're followed by Doran's River and Sean Flanagan. Behind them on the outside is Oscar Romero and Sean O'Keefe as they head for the bottom turn. Going on, Le Hachette from So Easy Way and the Metal Man as they make the turn and head for the back straight. They've opened up a lead of about three lengths over Rocky's Howyer. Emer is fifth, Rain in Spain followed to the far side by Doran's River. Alongside Doran's River, Space Oddity towards the inner, and then behind them is De Donnan with Oscar Romero as they near the first of the two flights on the far side. It's number four this time, Le Hachette. So easy way, Rocky's Howie and Metal Man close in behind. Emer next with on the outside rain in Spain, then Doran's River, Oscar Romero, De Donnan. Space Oddity had a pump road, rewrite the rules, and at the back is Monstorm. They've completed a circuit. They're nearing their fifth flight, Le Hachette, by a length and a half. So Easy Way is in second spot with, on the outside, Rocky's How You Jumping Up with the yellow cap towards the inner of that. Chasing Trio is Metal Man, about two and a half lengths away to rain in Spain. Doran's River has improved on the outside of Emer to their inner is Dave Donnan. A couple of lengths then to Oscar Romero ahead of Rewrite the Rules and Pump Road, Mon Storm, and they've gone on from Space Oddity as they make the top turn, head for the flight that'll be the last one after another circuit. The Hachette on the inside with Rocky's Howyer improving up on the outer, so easy way just behind them, the yellow and black towards the inner, and they're followed as they turn into the straight by Metal Man, Rain in Spain around the outside, behind the Meaver, Dorn's River, they down and on the rail. Tightly enough grouped as they come up to pass in front of the stands. Le Hachette in the lead from Rocky's How You Stand side of So Easy Way. On the rail is Metal Man. Near side, the red and black of Rain in Spain, just ahead of De Donnan. Doran's River behind them. Emer, Oscar Romero, rewrite the rules. Monstrom, Pump Road, clear of Space Oddity. Four flights from home, Le Hachette. Jumped it well, leads the field to the bottom turn with Rocky's How up on the outside. As they turn and head away towards the back straight, Le Hachette, Rocky's Howie, Metal Man around the inner, so easy way. They done it on the inner, right with them on the outside, Rain in Spain, Doran's River not far behind them, and Oscar Romero and Rewrite the Rules and Emer. Monster and Pump Road last of the group pulled up at the back, Space Oddity as they make the turn. At about six furlongs to race, three flights to jump, Le Hachette. Rocky's Howie, a close second. Rain in Spain has improved up on the outside of Metal Man as they jumped this third last flight. Le Hachette, Rocky's Howie, Rain in Spain, Doran's River has improved into fourth. They done in chasing in fifth. Oscar Romero, Metal Man next, and then Mon Storm with Pump Road. Rewrite the rules beginning to make some headway on the inner. Continuing on to the half mile pole and nearing the second last. Le Hachette, Rocky's Howie, Rain in Spain right up on the outside. Doran's River is behind them as they jump it. Rocky's Howie and Rain in Spain go on. La Hachette begins to struggle. Doran's river is improving. With on the outside, Oscar Romero making headway behind him is Pump Road as they head for the top turn. About two and a half furlongs to race. Rain in Spain edges ahead. Oscar wow. Romero up on the outside goes second. Rocky's Howie, Doran's river in touch is Pump Road as they head for the final flight. Rain in Spain on the inside. Challenging on the outer is Oscar Romero and they're in front of Doran's River and Pump Road as they near the turn in. Rain in Spain leads. Oscar Romero challenging on the outside as they pass the furlong pole. Rain in Spain on the rail. Oscar Romero stand side. They're clear. And Oscar Romero has taken over on the stand side. Racing for the Market in play. The September handicap. Relatively level break, although Canford Bay a little bit slowly away. The green jacket there of Outrage just settling in behind the early pace. Bezzer's lad with this very light weight to carry tonight is out in front in the hands of Molly Phillips in the black and white quarters. Then Latin five, the blue and orange colours, followed then by a bait. The big sheepskin noseband there, the favourite in third. Canford Bay just taking a bit of a hold and outrage is at the back of the field, making their way down towards halfway. And it's Bezza's lad that's out in front by length or so to a bait in second, Latin five being driven along. Then Canford Bay, followed by outrage, the green and red at the rear of the field. Down towards the closing stage as they come. Inside the final quarter of a mile, and it's a bait now towards the left that's beginning to go on. It's a Latin five in between the pair, Bezza's lad, then Canford Bay, and then towards the near side, outrage is trying to 
to get going as well, but they're deep inside the final furlong now. A bait, Latin five, battling hard is Bezzer's Lad as well. A bait and Bezzer's Lad as they go to the line. A bait beginning to get on top and wins. A bait beats Bezzer's Lad, who was game in second. Market suspended. Tamford Bay and outrage. Chelsea's friend who is bidding to make it a three wins on the bounce here and is still in the lower grade. New starting procedure here in Ireland. Mark, flag, mark it in go. play. Have been let go. We get up to Peter for the call. Inside Storm and Glory with alongside Rubiana. Stellar Stowe back in third as they clear the first and head towards the top turn. Out in front, vying for the early lead. Storm and Glory and Rubiana, a break of about six lengths back to Magic of Words with Stellar Stowe at the outside. And they're followed to the top turn by Mullockmore Wave. Behind Mullockmore Wave in the red and green colours is repeat that as they make the turn, heading for flight number two. On the inside, the white and red colours of Storm and Glory. Alongside is Rubiana. They show in front as they make the turn to bring them into the straight for the first time, over two circuits ahead of them. Magic of Words is just behind them. As they pass the furlong pole, head up to pass in front of the stands, Storm and Glory, Dylan Whelan on the far side. Near side is Rubiana, JJ7, Stellar Stowe showing just third for Cahill Landers, the inside Magic of Words and Sean O'Keefe, a break of about three lengths then to Mullockmore Wave and Brian Hayes. Behind them is Charlie Bitme in the red and blue halved, repeat that is next. Followed over that flight by the black colours of Gifted to Kate. Trailing the field at this stage as they go into the bottom turn, having jumped three flights, is Scanimax. As they're on the bend, they head for the back straight. Towards the outside, Rubiana, and the inner is Storm and Glory. They continue to show the way. Stellar Stowe within three lengths of the leading pair. In fourth spot in the green colours, Magic of Words as they make the turn that brings them on to flight number four. Mullockmore Wave behind them, and then Charlie bit me. Repeat that. Chelsea's friend in mid-division, ahead of Gifted to Kate as they stream out over the first of the two flights on the far side. Nearing the completion of a circuit, narrow leader on the inside, Storm and Glory. Rubiana remains close up, Stellar Stowe in third, followed in fourth spot by Magic of Words in the green colours. Behind them is Mullockmore Wave in fifth position, and then Charlie bit me and repeat that, Chelsea's friend. Followed over that by Gifted to Kate, towards the inside in the hoops is Glen Quinn Castle and then Nutteridge. And behind Nutteridge, as they continue up the far side, is Fauncha towards the inner. Alongside Fauncha, as they head for the top turn is Amled and still a few lengths adrift at the back is Scanimax. As they head for the top turn, and they approach the flight before the straight. More than a circuit and five flights to jump, and continuing up front. Storm and Glory on the inside, jumps it narrowly ahead, alongside in the red colours is Rubiana as they make the turn, all keeping off the inside rail as they head up the straight. Storm and Glory, Rubiana in second, and they're followed up in front of the stands by Magic of Words towards the Interstellar Stowe stand side, they're third and fourth. Mullockmore Wave is next, followed by Charlie Bitme, repeat that the outside of Chelsea's friend in the hoops. They're followed by Scanimax, who's improved a few places on the inside with Gifted to Kate as they jump this fourth last flight and head to the bottom turn. Still Storm and Glory with Rubiana to the outside as they make the turn that brings them away from the stands. Still in the lead, Storm and Glory in the white and red from Rubiana in second. Followed away towards the back straight by Stellar Stowe up on the outside of Magic of Words behind them. As they head for the bend, Charlie bit me with Chelsea's friend, Mullockmore Wave, repeat that. Towards the inside is Scanimax with the long side. The black colours of Gifted to Kate as they come to jump the third last flight and away from it. Still up there, the same pair, Storm and Glory with Rubiana towards the outside. Mullockmore Wave makes good headway behind them, Stellar Stowe. The green colours of Magic of Words. Chelsea's friend makes good headway on the inside. Repeat that and Charlie bit me a few lengths to Fauncher. Also trying to get into it is Nutteridge and then Glen Quinn Castle. 
Rubiana led over the second last. Mullockmore wave up the outside. Chelsea's friend getting a run through on the inner. Also in the firing line as they head on with three furlongs to race. Magic of words, but as they head for the top turn, Chelsea's friend has moved through on the inside. Mullockmore wave is in second. In third spot is Magic of words. Repeat that, trying to stay on. And then Charlie Bittmery and Stellar Stowe. As they make the top turn, Mullockmore wave in the pink and grey up on the outside. As they come to jump the final flight, Mullockmore wave the outside leads. Chelsea's friend, Charlie Bittmery, repeat that. Stellar Stowe behind them as they turn into the straight with a furlong to race and Mullockmore wave has gone clear. Battle on for the miners. Charlie Bittmery, repeat that. Stellar Stowe, Chelsea's friend and Nutteridge, but well inside the final furlong. Mullockmore wave is a lot. Okay, and uh, they're off. Away Market in play. Play spot. Your first bet. Apprentice handicap over to six furlongs, and Tarsik was well away. Tarsik will lead them through the end of the opening furlong from Irish Times, and then Pina Colada, who told Jojo, and twice as likely on the inside. Poor Finn, a little wider out in red and yellow stripes. Widest of all is Catapult, then Jack Ryan, and Breezy and Bright from Skidado. Signorino Doro is at the back of the field there with Jungle Boogaloo, who went to post early. They're about to make the way out of the back stretch, and it's Tarsik who leads under Reese Cutterbuck, but on the outside, Paul Orphan certainly paying the leader close attention. A length and a half away, Irish Times in third. Pina Galada, she's back in fourth just before the turn towards home. Then Catapult and twice as likely from who told Jojo, Jack Ryan, and then Breezy and Bright. They raced out towards the final furlong and a half. Tarsik with the lead. Porfin in second place is still hanging on in there. Irish Times is coming up with a big looking effort. And then twice as likely in Pina Galada. They raced out towards the final half. Tarsik over on the far side. Irish Times down the centre bem, mais um dia que a coisa não correu da melhor forma neste caso decidi parar que não valeu a pena estava a perder regularmente não, não foi tipo um estouro em si estava a perder regularmente um, na prática eu comecei mais tarde que fui, fui levar a vacina do covid e acabei por começar mais tarde e, e comecei, quando comecei, comecei perto das três e meia, provavelmente, e comecei muito, muito agressivo, porque estes, estas perdas todas foram todas, estas perdas aqui todas foram todas em back, nada disto foi em lei, e acaba, muitas vezes ou entrava com, com quatro ou cinco stakes, e depois aquilo subia e tinha que assumir o prejuízo, ou, ou então não fechava, não fechava porque queria ganhar mais e depois não atingia onde eu queria, onde eu queria fechar e depois acabava por perder esse take. Esta aqui foi a tentar, esta corrida aqui foi a tentar limpar um prejuízo para dar a volta àquilo e acabei por perder praticamente duas stakes. Por isso foi muito assim. Outra coisa que também reparei é que havia pouca liquidez no mercado. Logo, quando tu cometes erros... E se existe pouca liquidez no mercado, os teus erros não serão absorvidos para o mercado. Logo, é muito mais difícil sair em boas posições, porque eu, se num sábado, se num sábado, se metesse 4 ou 5 stakes e o mercado subisse contra mim, provavelmente o mercado ia voltar a descer porque havia muito mais liquidez e havia mais pessoas com opiniões erradas. Logo, acabava por descer a odd, porque pensavam que ele ia ganhar e ia mais de encontrar a minha opinião com logo conseguia sempre fechar porque havia sempre alguém com um erro a seguir ao meu enquanto se o mercado tiver pouca liquidez já não consegues fazer isso acabas simplesmente por ir, por ir a correr atrás do mercado e ir fechar com, com 50% da stake de prejuízo por aí daí eu decidi fechar porque depois só me estava a sobrar aqui nesta altura só me estava a sobrar 8 euros isto foi comecei era 3,5 isto aqui foi perto das 6 por isso este o prejuízo todo foi, foi bastante rápido, na primeira parte quase foi uma corrida de prejuízo e uma corrida de lucro, se viermos bem aqui a média disto. Mas pronto, agora ver como é que isto corre para amanhã, mas vá, não está lá muito famoso estes dois dias, mas pronto, vamos ver como é que corre esta semana, ver se consigo não acabar a semana em prejuízo, era bom. Já estar a ter este pensamento pode não ser bom porque pode-me querer causa a pressão de querer ganhar dinheiro e acabar por arriscar demais. Mas vamos ver. Fiquem bem e até amanhã, pessoal.